Hello all my beautiful little unicorns and welcome back to my channel. And if this is the first time that you're on my channel, my name is Vanessa Samina and I've authored various tarot and oracle decks. To date, I've posted over 600 tarot videos here on YouTube and you guys know me as your big sis from the internet. So you guys, in today's really fun, detailed and intricate pick a card prediction, we will be discussing precisely what he thinks and feels about you right now. And this is a time timeless psychic reading so if you are tuning into this video weeks months or years after me posting it know that you're receiving this at just the right time for you so now in order to help you figure out precisely what he thinks and feels about you right now i have prepared four groups for you to choose from and i would like you to pick one of these four groups intuitively before i introduce you to the four group i just wanted to put out a little disclaimer i am currently in the process of revamping my website bowlife.com so if things look a little different than usual or the site should be down for a couple hours just know that I am working on it day and night so you guys can have the best possible experience as well as the most high quality product but now let's get into your four groups shall we group number one corresponds to my below the surface oracle deck which I just published not long ago as well as the aqua aura crystal point the links to both of these items are in the description box then we've got the symbol of the sun as well as the number 11. now group number two corresponds to the wild mystic oracle deck the smoky quartz crystal the number 18 as well as the number six group number three corresponds to the goddesses gods and guardians oracle deck we have the orchid calcite right here the symbol of mercury as well as the number three and last but not least group number four corresponds to the divine messages from your animal spirit guides oracle deck as well as the symbol of libra and the symbol of the moon and as usual the timestamps to all four of these groups can be found below in the description box as well as pinned to the top of the comment section and now i will provide you with a little moment of privacy so you can meditate on the four groups in order to pick the perfect perfect group for you and then I'll be right back to guide you into your readings. Alright, so by now you've hopefully been able to select one of these four groups. Go with whichever group that you feel the most naturally drawn towards. And if you absolutely cannot make up your mind, feel free to tune into two or more readings because sometimes your prediction is a mixture between multiple groups. So I will now get into your readings starting off with the first group which corresponds to the below the surface oracle deck, the aqua aura crystal point, the symbol of the sun as well as the number 11. So if this is the group that you chose then please continue watching and to all of my other gorgeous groups I will catch you at the click of your timestamp. Hello group number one and welcome to your reading about how he currently thinks of you and how he feels about you right now. So you chose the below the surface oracle deck as well as the aqua aura point and the two symbols we'll get into in just a moment's time. This is the aqua aura point crystal and I do actually have this on my online store so don't say I didn't tell you so as these always sell out super quickly but I'll leave the link below for any of you who are interested. Of course, you can enjoy its energies through your screens without necessarily having it right there next to you. Now, this is a crystal that brings you clarity, but also peace and patience. So I definitely see here that he feels towards you like patience is a virtue, like you're not the kind of person who likes to rush right into things. And then next up, we've got the sun symbol as well as the number 11. Allow me to just put these on my palm. So the number 11 is actually a master number. This is a number of someone who is very unique and then 
connecting this to the symbol of the sun it shows that he feels and thinks of you as someone who shines really brightly someone who is different than the rest but not in a pick me type of way but in a way of you always bringing positivity and warmth to any interaction and any conversation so you're really kind of like a shining light like a warm ray of love and he really does see you as someone who is super unique in that way too like you're not pretending to be this person it's just who you are naturally so first up we've got the hermit crab and the hermit crab brings the message of finding shelter so he feels like you're someone who is safe to speak to like you're someone who he can come to at any point given point in time in order to just say what he's going through and how he feels and just as a little disclaimer i forgot to say this during the intro of the video but please apply pronouns that are applicable to you and your situation my channel is for everybody so it is a very inclusive channel however i do know that most of my audience does consist of girls who are interested in what boys think of them which is why in this particular video i am predominantly using the pronouns of he please don't feel confused about it in any way we're all here together in this space so in the hermit crab as I already mentioned you're someone whom he can come to with anything and you have like an open ear and you're like a shoulder to lean on you're really someone who is like a shelter like a safe haven that's what he feels about you i see here within the spiny seahorse that one thing he does worry about are reversed roles okay living your own traditions values and norms it's important and traditional gender roles might be something that you do like or see some positives in but if you're someone who is very ambitious which is how he feels towards you then it can in a way intimidate him to a certain degree okay so one thing that he thinks of you is that there may be some changes in gender roles as in for example if you identify as female you may not want to just stay at home and clean and cook you may have your own ambitions and follow through on those and this is definitely something where he feels you're very strong-headed and where he also feels like it might be a little bit of a challenge for him to adjust so there is a slight air of intimidation while you are still a really big safe haven and someone that he can come to anytime when it comes to like day-to-day -day life he does kind of think of how he can continue to maintain your respect okay that is what i see here in the mantis shrimp he doesn't want to give up on this he doesn't want to ever make you feel as though he's not man enough or he's not standing up for you or the relationship like he isn't in control of his emotions or anything like that he wants to continue to exude masculine energy and bring that to the table in the relationship which is a really positive thing but as already mentioned it is definitely something he's thinking about greatly whether he thinks he can provide whether he's confident enough strong enough so he's putting a little a lot of thought into this is what i meant to say so the walrus calf shows us here that one thing that he thinks of you is that you're someone who knows how to embrace all their emotions you're not someone who is going to like keep half of them hidden somewhere locked up in a drawer in the back of your mind or your head you're the kind of person who embraces how they feel you say how you feel you're pretty outspoken and this is definitely a huge plus and this is something that makes it easy for others to know where they stand with you group number one so this is a super positive trait that he thinks of you and feels about you right now next up we've got illumination so do you know here within illumination that one thing about him is that he loves your expression your positivity your joy the fact that you're such a kind of light a ray of light like we already discussed here earlier within your reading and you always bring this sense of fun and joy into the room not in an artificial way but in a way that just shows that you are truly happy from the inside out 
and you don't need to prove anything to anyone. And I do also see here that one thing that he does like about you is how you physically dress and choose to have certain things that are a little different than the norm. It could be your jewelry, for example, also just wearing something that is a little bit more old-fashioned, traditional, or elegant than your peers or other people your age, and having a style that is easily recognizable if you're in a crowd he can just pick you out of that crowd because you just have a certain sense of self and a certain energy and look about you that he finds super attractive next up in inspirational creation i can see here that you do also come off as somebody who is very innovative who isn't afraid to try out some new things and someone who is kind of like an inventor, if you will. So he definitely thinks of you as someone who is able to make history if you set your mind to that. And you are definitely like the type of individual that he sees as very magical. That's what I see here in inspirational creation. All right, next up we have, I put my mental health first. He sees you as someone who puts their mental health and well-being first and let me tell you, guys love girls who are a little bit obsessed with themselves, who take care of themselves and who put themselves first. A lot of them won't admit that, but they do truly respect that and they find that attractive. And that's one thing that I see here. And then next up, we have I am gentle with myself and others. Your gentleness is a huge turn on. It's a huge positive for him. It's something that he loves to see you not only put towards yourself, but also towards others. And it just overall makes him feel like he's hit the jackpot with you because you are the kind of person that remains gentle even when the world is treating you harshly. And that is really rare to find, honestly, group number one. So give yourself a little pat on the back for that. Let's move further into your reading. Next up, we've got the Ace of Blades reversed. So the Ace of Blades reversed is definitely an indication for the fact that he is a little bit afraid to approach you, okay? He sees all of these positive traits and qualities, but the Ace of Blades reverse shows that he's struggling with himself. He's not sure if he's quite there yet, if he's quite ready, if he can provide the commitment that he would want to promise to you, that he would want to say that he will give to you. So the Ace of Blades reverse does show some insecurity, not because of you being an awesome person, but just kind of radiating from a place of him never having been in such a strong commitment like he can tell you may want to have and the wheel of fortune reverse shows us here that he's really worried of things just going south of his feelings getting hurt of overall of it not working out of you being the first person that he fully opens up to and fully allows into his mental space into his life to meet his family to maybe even start a family with and commit to fully and then in the end that it doesn't work out that is like his biggest fear his biggest anxiety and heartache here so that is where things are a little bit confusing for him and a little bit difficult to decipher his emotions with so group one i inherently feel like there are a few more messages we need to uncover so what i'll do now is i will clear and cleanse the space and then i'll be right back with you so just hold tight group number one and we'll delve even more deeply into your reading welcome back group number one let's delve even more deeply into your psychic reading about what he thinks of you right now and how he feels towards you right now the deep and honest truth so we've got the king of pentacles and the seven of swords okay i see that there is some fear of big financial responsibility and kind of feeling like a bit of imposter syndrome it's you know making that jump from being single or just caring for yourself to being like the head of the family or leading a family just being in a serious relationship with someone and potentially even having a family with that 
that individual. I can see here with the Seven of Swords that it's something he's a little afraid to commit to and just feels like, can he really do this? The King of Pentacles shows that he has a depiction of who he thinks he should be and he worries that there is a big discrepancy between who he is right now and who he thinks that he should be for you. And that is causing a certain amount of anxiety of maybe even like an avoidant attachment style, an attachment style where, where he's a little bit afraid to let himself down as well or to embarrass himself by not being up to par in a way that he thinks he should be. He's a huge perfectionist. I see that here in the King of Swords. A lot of overthinking, a lot of like mental violence towards himself, okay? So being very hard on himself, on his accomplishments of where he is right now and where he feels like he should be. So this is a very strong-minded kind of person and the seven of pentacles just shows that he's still working really deeply on himself and his growth and especially his professional career the seven of pentacles shows here that there's still a lot that he wants to accomplish he feels like he hasn't even scratched the surface and that is where he's really torn between okay will settling down help will it make him more successful will it kind of make things better or will it overall make things a little bit more challenging will he then give up parts of himself and his career and sacrifice that for a relationship which is another way how it could go so these are the thoughts that he feels when he thinks about you and the romantic relationship or potential romantic relationship that you may have with one another Let's see what else we're going to receive for you. So it is important here to trust your intuition and to not feel like dimming your light or making yourself smaller just in order to allow someone else to feel more comfortable because then when you do come back out and shine and that will always happen with someone like you group number one you cannot dim your light for anybody for very long you may be able to do it temporarily but after a while you will just burst out of the seams with your energy with your great intent that you have with your good intent that you have towards other people and your positivity and just the fact that you are a big personality and you need someone who's ready for that you need someone who can not only accept but actually embrace it and can be very secure next to you so here within sacrifices it is very beneficial for you to think of how much you're willing to compromise and sacrifice to what degree you're willing to do that and what is too much for you because for you you may be able to sacrifice a little bit in the sense of you know calming his mind letting him know that it's okay like things don't need to be perfect and you understand he's still working on things but at the same time you're also not going to accept a kind of relationship where it's not really benefiting you at all right you need to make sure that there is reciprocity you need to make sure that you do some sacrifice some compromise but not to the degree where it's like you're putting way more into the relationship than the other person because you also have a career you also have things that you're interested in and that you would like to accomplish and that you don't completely bury or sacrifice those and with love is in the air this is confirmation that that is the perfect way for you to move forward when it comes to this relationship, all right? To sacrifice just as much as you are still very comfortable with, but not so much that you feel like you're losing yourself, not so much that you feel like you're compromising your entire being for another person. Now, we want to make sure that we avoid that at all costs, group number one, and that the sacrifice or the compromise is within the realm of acceptability for you that it is within the realm of all right you know what this is this is how much i'm willing to sacrifice but not more than this all right next up we have the human so remember to forget this is an important highly highly important message for you group number one remember to forget things that you have been taught to unlearn things that are not helpful we have learned different things about relationships such as gender roles and norms and also ways in which we should be handling things but it's not always how it works for every single person 
with some individuals it is best if the relationship has some space some people like to travel solo even though they're still in a relationship some people like to do everything with their partner and spend every minute with them the thing is that we need to remember to forget about what we deem as right and instead do what actually works, what actually causes the least amount of friction and the most amount of love and acceptance and patience for one another. And the tabby cat brings us the message that you are worthy of all the things you desire and hope and dream for in love. The thing is that you do have a lot of influence on what kind of love that you receive. And if you find that you always have to go through the same messages in love, the same lessons. It's like you're dealing with the same person just in a different body. It is always the same kind of arguments, downfalls and challenges that you experience with people or potential relationships and situationships. Know that that is often a sign that something needs to change in you. So on the outside, on the external plane, you can attract someone different into your life that you are more compatible with and with whom you can actually go through a different kind of cycle, a different pattern that has a healthy resolution and builds the relationship instead of tearing it down group number one we are at the end of your reading i hope that you enjoyed it and found it insightful if you watched all the way to the end leave a cat emoji below because that's the only way that you and everyone else would know that you were here and that you received your reading and you found it insightful and fun so group number one furthermore if you're looking for more readings that are exclusive to a way smaller audience and also the chance to win a private reading make sure that you follow my patron it's linked below in the description box for you i upload about three to four videos and pieces of content per month onto my patron so you know that library is continuously growing and you have a lot more say on my patron because as already mentioned it's a really small devoted group called the unicorn army where you guys can help pick different video topics and just receive readings on a way smaller scale so they are more intricate more accurate and I'm also able to get into details that I can't mention here on YouTube due to censorship purposes. So group one, thank you so much for being here once again. And for all of your love and support, know that I'm sending you hugs and I can't wait to connect with you during one of my upcoming readings. Hello, all my beautiful souls of group number two. Now you chose the Wild Mystic Oracle deck as well as the Smoky Quartz, the number 18, as well as the number six. So we'll get straight into it. And we will, of course, include all of these little pieces of information that you chose in order to help guide you to figure out precisely what he thinks of you right now and how he feels about you. So this is the beautiful smoky quartz in case you didn't know. This is a crystal that removes any kind of like negative or stagnant energies. So if you've been feeling like you're not getting anywhere with your questions about him, them, they, her, you know, use any pronouns which you like, then know that this is the perfect group for you because we'll get all the answers you need. We also have the number 18 and the number 6, which we will further read into. But just to give you a little base here, the number 6 is a number of gratitude, of family, of close bonds, and of just overall lifting one another up. This is a number of victory. And multiplying that by three, we received the number 18, but the base vibration of 18 is one plus eight, which equals nine. And that is a number of good fortune. That is a number that is very close to completion, if you will. It is a number of not giving up right before the finish line. But as already mentioned, we'll speak about that more in your reading. So first up, I would like you to know that he thinks of you as someone who is super confident. We've got the peacock here. And confidence is something that radiates from within with you, or at least that's how it appears. Of course, we all have our insecurities and the things that we are not 100% sure of in our lives or we're not 100% happy with when it comes to ourselves. 
however to him you are someone who is very confident and also as you can see here with this depiction of the peacock someone who's very into in in intricate is what i meant to say you guys group two i can't speak today so intricate who has a lot of different facets a lot of different like compartmentalized parts of yourself so you may have a part of yourself that is super outgoing depending on the situation then there may be a different part of you that is very introverted and creative in their own little bubble and space and then there may be a part of you also that is not afraid to be a leader depending on the situation so i definitely see here that you awaken his interest deeply and in a sense there's a lot about you that is mysterious to him next up we've got this protective nurturing kind of vibe that he feels with you so for one you have a very nurturing kind of vibe so like a mom energy if you will a very matriarchy kind of vibe going on of protecting of being there for those younger smaller less experienced and if you for example like children or have younger siblings that you've protected then this makes sense naturally to you but group two i just want to say that if you were put in a situation where you were like parentified okay where you had to almost coddle a parent like this because either they were too narcissistic too self-involved or just too much in their own issues growing up to properly deal with them and then to on top of that properly parent you that can also make you someone who gives off a very protective caring vibe and another thing here is that because you have done so much protecting for others he wants to do the same for you he wants you to kind of have like a breath of fresh air and not feel like you have to continue to do that even in a romantic relationship okay he wants to take that job over and free you from being so much in your masculine when you're protecting and also sometimes feeling like you're protected next up we have got inspiration so you do inspire you do have this strong voice of speaking up of saying how it is that you feel and you definitely like inspire queen and king energy and those around you okay so you through your open-mindedness and through the fact that you are outspoken and you will stand up for the underdog or for people who are in a less fortunate position and that makes you someone who is slightly intimidating but that others look up to for that because even if you are ambushed or attacked like verbally by others for standing up for what you believe is right you don't care for you it's more important to speak the truth to be honest to be forthcoming and that is where you garner a lot of respect okay so this trio of protect confidence and inspire is kind of the foundation of what he thinks of you right now and how he feels towards you now here with an upside down i just want you to know that with all of these actually very positive traits and very strong traits can also come seeing things from the perspective of fostering insecurity in others because you can hold up a mirror to them that kind of reflects on what they might be lacking or what they maybe don't have so upside down it does show us here that your person the person that you're inquiring about in this reading can feel a sense of intimidation and like they're not sure if they bring enough to the table themselves but they do feel that life's a journey and that if you're meant to be together you will find together and you will actually go on this journey of growth of finding patience care and peace with one another together rather than working against one another so this is a huge deal for your person that they're considering being with you in the long term and they're considering would you be great on a journey through life or at least for the span of a human life which you know in the grand scheme is so short but it's eternity for us so i definitely want you to know here that the feelings are pretty positive here within stormy i do see that just as we were talking about 
only the positives and only the uplifting i hope you can also appreciate the realness group number two if you can and you do please do leave a lightning bolt emoji below in the comment section to let me and others know that you belong to group number two and that you're open to all messages not just the ones that everyone wants to hear or likes to hear group number two here within the stormy card which is the first card of my wild muse oracle deck he does feel as though there are some parts of you that can be emotionally a little unhinged okay if you are the type of person that can sometimes burst into tears or have some temperamental outbursts if you're feeling very overwhelmed in a relationship or you're on your moon if you're someone who menstruates things like that i do want you to know here that he does worry about a side of you that can be impulsive and that can be so outspoken to the point that he may get his feelings hurt but because he doesn't want to seem weak he will probably not speak up too much about it right so he's being very kind of like careful as to whether he can take the realness and sometimes even the heat in a connection with you so the six of cups and we mentioned the number six is a very triumphant card that shows that we are building, right? We've got a stable foundation of three, then we build with two, and then we have one cup, but we need all of these different levels and tiers in order for there to be a cup at the top, in order for there to be a construct that is built on a solid foundation and doesn't immediately get destroyed with like the smallest little wind or the smallest little thing that comes towards it right the smallest little speck of dirt if you will so i do see here that building is important and he's willing to do that he's the kind of person who has already seen that from either his parents or grandparents how that works and he understands that there must be some sort of progression that there's no such thing as like a perfect relationship or one without any conflict now next up in the seven of blades reversed i can see that he does think of you as smarter than him which he will never admit because he is somebody who is seen as very smart by his peers and his family and his friends and at work especially so this is not something that you will ever hear from him but it's definitely something he feels he feels that you are more intelligent than him he feels a big kind of sense of respect for you and the emotional intelligence that you bring to the table and also your choice of words he finds those to be very inspiring and very in a sense like mature and grown up and it's something he hasn't experienced before that's what i see here in the seven of blades so you are unlike any of his exes or his past relationships not even like anyone who he has just briefly gone on a date with or seen casually and this is something that really intrigues him and next up we've got the nut hatch so in change your perspective which is the message that the nut hatch brings with it as we had here with an upside down there are different ways to see all of these attributes all of these positives all of these strengths you can see it as intimidating you can see it as having found the perfect partner you can see it as a reason to feel insecure it really depends so much on your perspective and the thing is he is looking at all viewpoints and all perspectives and how his insecurities may even affect the perspective how to avoid it and how to ensure success in the relationship and then next up we have the house finch which shows us here that the thing is that he sees you as someone who really knows their song okay who really knows what they want what they desire what they don't want and again we had that within the inspire card which is either a damsel or also a finch if you're like a bird person feel free to let me know what bird that you think that this truly depicts because i am just taking an intuitive guess when it comes to this um so i just want you to know that overall the message with these small but very vocal and strong birds is that you too are maybe physically small but you're very vocal you're very outspoken and that has never stopped you from entering a room with confidence and he 
admires that, he aspires to be more like you, even if he won't say it so directly. And he is looking at the different perspectives of whether he feels like he can handle that. So it's more of like a his insecurity issue than it is you. So I do feel compelled to cleanse and clear the space and be back with deeper messages that answer more questions about how he thinks of you right now. So group number two, just hold tight and I'll be right back with you. All right, group number two. Oh, we have a card that already popped upside down or right side up for you, however you'd like to say it. We have the Awakening card as well as the Ice Queen. So I do see here that you may have a little bit of a strong exterior, okay? So in the Ice Queen, don't take this the wrong way, group number two. You know I love you guys. You know I'm your big sis that will always tell you how it is. But do you have a bit of a resting bee face? Like, could it be that sometimes you're really happy but it's just not really visible because of how your face is when it's relaxed and resting because I know that I struggle with that sometimes that you can read every emotion off of my face and sometimes when I'm actually just chilling you may think I'm unhappy because there is no expression because usually I am so vocal and expressive about joy and happiness and excitement. So you can have these ice queen moments which can be a little confusing or it may make him a little worried at times. But with awakening, I want you to know here that it's all a matter of time, of learning one another and of learning gestures and mannerisms. And this is something where he is connecting the dots and he understands that it is not a personal thing, that it's not something bad and it's not something to be worried about. With Awakening, I do also see that he thinks of you as someone who is very connected to their lineage and heritage and that you represent a lot of ancient knowledge and wisdom and that you are the kind of person who is like a pillar of light within their society and their lineage their bloodline so that you're doing things differently and you're using a lot of the opportunities that you have that your ancestors may have lacked or not had the privilege to experience now i do want to also point out the ice queen corresponds to master number 22 and this is a number of working together this is a number of being in a committed partnership and making sacrifices for one another so the ice queen definitely shows us here that sacrifices is something that he feels like you would always make even in an argument even if you look like you're not happy or you're annoyed and the thing here with the common octopus is that you can solve any problem. Your mind is your most significant advantage. This is one of my favorite cards from my Below the Surface Oracle deck, you guys, because if you haven't seen my Octopus Teacher on Netflix, I have been advising you guys for months to watch this movie. It is so inspirational, and it shows intelligence on such a different level, as well as love and warmth between animals as well as human beings so coming back to your reading your mind is your most significant advantage and it is definitely something that he is never underestimating so he would rather not mess with you and mess it up than try to be in a situation with you or a commitment that he knows he can't keep up because there may be still other people he's talking to texting with or dealing with and needs to first get out of his life because you also have this kind of detective energy that you will find out anything okay you will be able to find out the blood type of someone who is his ex you will be able to figure out precisely where everybody lives that he was maybe talking to flirting with so he is very weary and worried about that if you will and he does not want to mess with you in that sense so next up we've got the marbled electric ray which shows here that you allow for your talent to do the talking actually what he thinks of you when he sees photos of you that are a lot more modest just your smile just you as a person that is what he likes the most actually because he finds that you are so electrifying you don't need to show off anything other than who you are you don't need to show uh, things that you own you don't need any like fancy background you don't need fancy clothes or to have any provocative kind of pictures that you're displaying 
He feels that you are the kind of person who already is the full package. You don't need to display that to the world because it actually, in a way, just undermines your talent. So he would never want to see you going too far off the deep end with that. So next up here with the beluga whale, the thing is here that you seem to be the kind of person to him where he thinks that you have tried so many new things and you would be really open to adventure but that you're also a pretty like cultured person as is already like you've tried a lot of things that other people your age or in your situation would have been too afraid to even attempt all because you are worldly and open-minded, well-traveled, and here I do see that he wants to do more of this with you, okay? He wants to travel to places, he wants to explore, he wants to see things. Animals are a big part of that as well, so think of like nature reserves, safaris, going to places that are far from where you live to see different kind of creatures, animals, and plants, as well as different kind of vegetation, different kind of, is it even called vegetation in English? Because I'm thinking vegetation in German, but I mean like different landscapes, okay? And here within the hanged man reversed, he is finished with being complacent. He wants a travel, but a travel buddy, an exploration buddy someone whom he can go on adventures with and someone with whom he can just see the world and create amazing memories that's what i see here in the hanged man reverse and the queen of crystal reverse shows that he doesn't want too much princessy energy so of course a little bit is fine we we can give princess treatment is what he's thinking but not to the extent that it gets in the way of the travels or it gets in the way of the exploration and that is where you also need to make it clear like what you need who you are what you desire from this relationship if you don't want someone who's too spontaneous then this person may be difficult for you to handle or to deal with group number two but i just want you to know here that he sees you as someone who can put on hiking shoes during the day and go on an amazing hike and then at night wear heels and an amazing dress and be just as attractive and handle both situations with poise now the ace of crystals shows us here that he is thinking of reaching out to you more he is thinking of making this relationship more solid he is thinking of ways in which he can kind of make this something that is real and make this something big in his life the thing here with the ace of crystals is that he's thinking of the best way to take action to not be rejected the ace of crystals also shows here that he does want to build something he does want to create something he has this kind of drive to get to a place where the relationship has now turned from just chit chatting just being a situationship to something that will last for a long time potentially even like years okay so the ace of crystals does show you here that he has some good intent now the devil reverse also shows that he is trying to reform from his prior life of maybe being a bit more of a flirt a bit more of a quote-unquote playboy or just overall somebody who doesn't really commit in relationships okay he's had flings he's had situationships and he's known precisely what he's done and he has known precisely that he wasn't taking care in the way that he should have and he knows that he maybe played certain girls that he played certain individuals if you are talking to someone who identifies as female then she definitely has played games and been around the block when it comes to these relationship back and forths but the thing is like they're ready to settle down and now it's just about figuring out how to do it how to properly reform next up here within the high priestess reverse i want you to know that they're also kind of done with very traditional norms when it comes to education they have had a normal education but now they are just about like self-educating self-actualization 
self-development and growth through books through meditation through overall like taking action oh okay we've got two more cards that popped right into your reading group number two let's get into these so we have the queen of cups and the page of blades so i do see here that he's like on a whole new journey and he is still figuring out himself where this journey will take him and whether he wants to actually stay put where he is right now geographically speaking because with the queen of cups and the page of blades i see that he has this idea of moving to a different country and a different place altogether and doing a lot of traveling so now the question is does he try to initiate the relationship with you and do this journey with you or does he feel like at this point he can do it by himself and he would rather come back at a later time when he's done with the travels because it also depends on whether you are able to leave your school your job your commitments to join so that is where he's kind of like thinking mulling it over he's unsure about it and where he's trying to evaluate the situation and actually paying closer attention to you and who you are than what you ever expected group number two so don't underestimate this connection and this person don't underestimate what they think of you and how they feel of you now group number two this is the reading that i've received for you i hope you enjoyed it and that you found it insightful make sure you let me know down below in the comment section how you liked it and if you want even more readings that are intricate that are personal that are for a very small audience where i can also say things without censorship my patron is linked below in the description box and i am also currently giving away some free private readings on there okay so make sure that you check it out if you're interested in that but all my gorgeous babies of the zodiac regardless of whether you are watching on youtube or patreon or anywhere else i'm sending you so much love and appreciation and i can't wait to connect with you during one of my upcoming readings hello group number three and welcome to your reading now you chose the goddesses gods and guardians oracle deck in connectivity to the orchid calcite crystal let me first show you a close-up of this crystal and just give you a little disclaimer for your reading about what he truly thinks about you right now now this stone you may have felt drawn to this crystal because what you really need is some re-energizing energy to bring you back on track with your self-confidence and to not just ask yourself how he feels about you but how do you feel about him how do you feel about how he is treating you that is just as important group number three never forget that you also chose the symbol of mercury in connectivity to the number three we'll get into all of these nitty-gritty little details and i just want to point out that i will be using the pronoun he but feel free to replace that in however suits your situation and last but not least i'm going to be completely blunt and honest you guys so so take what serves you leave what doesn't and let's get into the reading so starting off here with the symbol of mercury i want you to know that this planet is actually a planet of the rational mind of your thinking processes and all forms of communication so he thinks of you as someone who's actually more rational than other people of your demographic so you are the kind of person who has seen a lot traveled a lot you are more kind of in tune with rationality than what he's dealt with in the past so he definitely sees you as more mentally sane and stable now group number three you also chose the number three all right and this is a number of working together and that's the thing here he thinks of you as someone who has a really great friend circle and family circle like you have a very stable base of people who care about you and love you so he does know that he's probably not going to be your only interest or focal point in your life but that's not a bad thing that actually shows independence it shows that you know yourself and you've got your own things going on group number three and it also shows that socially speaking you can be thrown into any situation 
and you can deal with it, you can handle it, you can speak to anyone, you can deal with any situation, you can have a conversation with someone who is homeless, you can have a conversation with someone who runs a multi-billion dollar company and see that those two scenarios are actually not even so far apart from one another and you can recognize humanity in every single being that you meet. Now, the High Priest of Atlantis shows that he thinks of you as someone who has really healing kind of energy and he feels like for sure there must be a lot of people interested in you, okay? He doesn't see you as the kind of person that he would just get with and there would be no competition. He really feels like there's a lot of people who would like to be around you, be with you, who are interested in you. And group number three, I don't wanna hear it in the comments how you're saying that he's the only one, but there's no one else. Okay, I get that, but this reading is about what he truly thinks about you right now and how he feels about you so let's see what additional messages we've got so we had the mermaid of lemuria we've got isis as well as kalima so kalima shows us here that you've definitely gone through some transformation that just shows you're the kind of person who is more comfortable in their skin than a lot of the other people in your circle now that manifests itself in you not being afraid to wear certain pieces of clothing not being afraid to do your makeup or your hair a certain way i'm sorry it's really over lit right now group number three i don't know what's going on with my electronics right now but we're back on track here so i definitely want you to know here that you have a very like mystical part to you and he really likes your heritage he really really thinks of you as someone who comes from an interesting intriguing background that he's not really ever met anyone like you before now the mermaid of lemuria shows us here that he feels like you're someone who prioritizes joy and prioritizes having fun and in connectivity to the high priest of atlantis having fun in the sense of thinking maybe you're a bit more outgoing or more of a party animal than you really are especially if you're not a party animal whatsoever group number three you may think to yourself wow he really has a way way more extroverted picture of me than i truly am and i see here with isis that we've got some sacred contracts that he feels he just can't mess with okay those sacred contracts are between you best friends and also closest family members that means for example some contracts contracts in the sense of relationships with your mom, with your dad, with siblings and your closest friends that are just non-negotiable. Like there's nobody who can come in between those. There's nobody who can amend them in any way. Any kind of rift will have to happen through an experience that you've gone through. No, she said, he said, you don't play those games and those closest to you have earned their spot through loyalty, through showing repeatedly that they are trustworthy. So it's very clear here that you base a lot of the care and time that you put into connections on also what you've received and what people have shown you and proven to you in the past. Now let's carry on with my below the surface oracle deck because I find that just overall connecting to water is probably what we should do here, okay? Because we did have the mermaid of Lemuria, which is within the water. The high priest of Atlantis has this water vibe as well. Isis and ancient Egypt was very dependent on the Nile for water. And Kalima is kind of like the exception where we don't necessarily have anything water related, but it's okay. We don't have to have every single card show the same synchronicity to see that there are some meaningful connectors. All right, so here, ooh, okay, we've got two cards. For one, actually, we have the candy basslet, and then we have the bottle nose dolphin. So let me just explain to you what the candy basslet is all about. So this beautiful creature is actually for all of you who are into like aquariums and terrariums and things like that. These are really expensive fish, and that's why I named this card about knowing your worth and keeping your standards high 
after the candy basslet because this is a fish that is only going to go to a certain person that can actually take care of it at a certain price and this is the kind of impression that you make this is how he thinks of you and here within the bottle nose dolphin we have a synchronicity that we already experienced with the mermaid of lemuria that represents joy and happiness and a good time basically the bottlenose dolphin shows socializing, celebrating, and just like joining in with others in different kind of um, like get togethers and parties. So he does definitely feel like you are super outgoing, like you like to go out and have fun. That doesn't mean like anything wild in the sense of like drinking too much or getting into any trouble just spending time with like your sacred circle and also celebrating other people's accomplishments like their birthdays like their promotions and so on when it comes to that he feels like you are an amazing person to always hype another individual up that's one thing that he feels about you a pretty selfless energy and an outgoing type of energy so let's move further into your reading next up we've got temperance so he does view you and think of you as someone who can say no who can say no to alcohol who can say no to any kind of situationships that you are just not into or you just feel um, are beneath what you deserve and what you desire and that you're not afraid to express that and that you're kind of like the person who not only knows your worth but you're going to stand on it as well and this is something that he really respects and within the star he does have hope that maybe he will be worthy of you that's quite literally the message that i'm getting here like uncertainty of worthiness when it comes to you and the entire situation sometimes it can be a red flag like if someone says you deserve someone way better they inherently know they're not treating you right or they're not ready or emotionally available so do make sure that you keep that in the back of your mind but the star is also a card in the tarot of self-reflection it is a card that connects to the zodiac sign of aquarius which is a very unique and revolutionary sign but at the same time it is important to keep communication very open and that's where he can sometimes like struggle to truly say how he thinks of you right now or what his concerns are what his thoughts are what his feelings are that's what i see here in the star next up we've got the two of cups for you so the two of cups makes it clear that he does see you as someone that he could be with the two of cups is a very prosperous fortunate and positive card when it comes to romantic relationships specifically so i'm not talking friend zone i'm talking like girlfriend wifey material now the two of cups does show us here two people working together kind of pouring out of one teacup and like filling multiple chalices so definitely know here that sharing everything is something he would want and something that he feels like you're trustworthy enough to do and the three of cups showed up for you here in the sense of reminding you hey it is completely fine to go out to have fun this is again the number three showing up for you so we have the three of cups you chose the number three and the bottle nose dolphin also corresponds to the number three and i would like you to know that the candy basslet corresponds to the number 37 so we've got a three in there as well so ultimately we've got the number three showing up singularly three times so in the three of cups the bottle nose dolphin as well as the number three that you chose and we will add this up to your synchronicity you know angel numbers are numbers to look out for in your day-to-day -day life when you see angel number 333 333 on a license plate it could be when you look at the clock or for example at checkout if you're paying for something and the last digits are 333 three 
$3.33 for example. That is something to look out for here if you're looking to connect with your person and get on the right journey to be with him. I intuitively feel like it's time to clear and cleanse the space and then I'll be back with more cards and a more in-depth analysis of how he truly thinks about you and feels about you right now. So just hold on tight group number three and I'll be right back. All right, group number three. I hope you didn't miss me too much for those moments of silence, but let's move further and more deeply into your reading so we can really uncover all the nitty gritty details about how he feels about you. So first up, we actually have the five of cups in reverse. The five of cups in reverse shows here that he's moving forward from something. He's healing. He is rejoining with the world. So he might just freshly have broken up up with someone it could be because of you we have yet to figure that out but he is more fresh to the dating game and to reattaching than you maybe know okay so there may have still been some ties with somebody here where those were just ended and now he understands it is time to accept growth to accept healing to accept help as well maybe even go to therapy and just overall move forward with a completely clean blank slate of also learning how to be a bigger better person for upcoming connections now here within the star he's got a lot of hope and inspiration within him that he can become this calm and positive individual that can actually bring rejuvenating energy to a relationship so how he sees you is that he understands he needs to properly clear up some of the old soul ties before moving on to something new with you because he feels like you're really no joke and you're not messing around so in order to do that he really feels a little self-conscious about working on himself but he feels like you are such a calm serene and just spiritually deep individual that you would actually be super helpful on the journey to more growth and self-discovery Ooh, we've got two cards actually that popped out we've got temperance as well as the three of pentacles the number three sorry the four of pentacles excuse me for some reason i didn't see all the pentacles here uh we've got the four of pentacles now I'm going to start off here with temperance and then we'll move into the four of pentacles group number three now temperance shows us here that one thing that he feels like you're really good at is moderation is balance peace tranquility and creating harmonious relationships he has not had harmonious relationships in the past and i also see here that he can sometimes kind of struggle to let loose okay financial stability is very important for him and security when it comes to that and he can definitely be the kind of person who is a little stingy or hoarding because he has had such bad experiences in the past he does not want to spend resources on a relationship that's not going to last that's one thing that i see here and one thing in correspondence to temperance as well as the four of coins or four of pentacles however you'd like to call this card is that actually sometimes this makes for a really great person for a long-term relationship because they will budget they will put things into retirement funds they will make sure that you are really set up for life you are really set up in a way that nothing can really happen that you've always got a little nest egg and a little security blanket if you will so it's not really a bad thing if you end up with this kind of person long term the magician shows us here that he's super practical but he also thinks of you as someone who is like really practical who doesn't need too much kind of material flashiness or anything that you make the best of what you already have rather than complaining or always wanting for more he finds you to be a very humble person who knows a little bit about everything and in a way you also just have this vibe of absolutely not being like any of his exes honestly here the two of pentacles reverse shows that there is very much difficulty when it comes to focusing and keeping his kind of 
focus also on work if he is in contact with you okay this is something he struggles with focus and being in different places at the same time kind of so do you know here that you're super distracting to him okay you make him feel like he can't really think straight like it's just a lot for him to deal with and here the six of blades reverse shows more of that confusion more of that wanting to be close but at the same time not wanting to get distracted and not wanting to veer off of the path where he's now finally healing finally growing finally becoming a better person he's a little like worried to fall back into the patterns or spirals that have been experienced in past relationships by him that just overall destroyed the confidence as well as the, the productivity the discipline and the hard work so the thing here is that trusting intuition is an important aspect he feels like you're very intuitive and you feel this insecurity which may also be why he's pulled back or is currently pulling back group number three so trusting your intuition here might also look for you like just kind of reaching out a little bit and saying hey it's okay to pursue me or i'm okay with you not being perfect don't overdo it group number three but know here that sometimes it's not a bad idea to take action from your side too of course you don't want to be the one chasing or the one who looks as though they're thirsty okay nobody likes that However, taking a little bit of action or showing a little bit of openness might just be what is needed here in order for these thoughts of actually really liking you, actually really seeing some potential in you to manifest into getting to know each other more deeply and manifest into things kind of feeling on fire. I see that when it comes to passion, when it comes to physical attractiveness and attraction in general, he finds you to be physically super hot super on fire super just like the person he always thought he would be with like the person where already as a kid he thought he would end up with someone who looks like you okay you definitely have like the traits of his teenage fantasies of being with a person like you maybe that was a little tmi but i told you guys i'm not gonna leave out any details so last but not least i just also want you to know here group number three that one thing that again he is thinking about is any kind of stormy relationships that is something he is trying to avoid he's trying to start off on a fresh note trying to implement healthier new patterns and habits with someone who is emotionally ready and intelligent okay stormy things are just overall a little fear factor for him a little bit of just too much drama is not his thing and he's overall just thinking maybe he's in a space where he has to be very very mindful and careful of who he links up with because it's important for him to finally create stability and in a way grow up but have someone by his side who can allow him to grow up while of course being imperfect being human but still making the progress now group number three this is the reading that i've received for you and i truly hope you enjoyed it and that you found it insightful if you made it all the way to the end leave a little star emoji below in the comment section to let me and others know that you were here and you watched it all the way to the end because leaving the star emoji is the only way anyone would know you're part of group three and furthermore, if you would like readings in a smaller circle that are just a bit more detailed and a little bit more uncensored, feel free to check out my Patreon. It's linked below in the description box. And I'm actually currently even giving away a private reading on there. So make sure that you join the squad or the unicorn army as my patron community is called if you want to partake in that. Now, group number three, thank you for being here and for spending this divine time and space with me. And I can't wait to connect with you during one of my upcoming readings. Hello, group number four, and welcome to your reading about what he currently thinks of you right now and how he feels towards you. Now, you chose the messages from your animal spirit guides, oracle cards, as well as the orange calcite, the symbol of Libra, and the symbol of the moon. And we'll get into all of these little details in just a second. So group number four, 
here is the crystal of your choice i just want to introduce you to its energies and just explain to you what this crystal does so as you can already see by its very kind of re-energizing sunny color if you will the orange calcite brings you revitalization as well as a renewed sense of self and self-confidence especially if you've had a hit to your confidence as of recently trust me you can build that back up you just need balance that's why we've got libra here balance between doing for other people caring for other people but also caring for yourself and putting yourself first libra by the way is ruled by venus and libra is a zodiac sign that shows diplomacy as well as overall being very peace loving so he sees you as someone who is diplomatic someone who is peace loving and also as someone who really doesn't need any drama the moon symbol shows us here that he sees you as someone super intuitive and maybe even weirdly psychic okay so he feels like you're not the kind of person that he can play games with or who doesn't sense when there's any kind of disingenuous behavior going on i definitely just want you to understand that when it comes to how he feels towards you he feels like you're someone who is always on the lookout for any kind of red flags. You are always on the lookout for any signs or symbols, be it angel numbers, synchronicities, or even signs and symbols of somebody cheating or somebody just not telling the truth, okay? You are a very watchful and observant person. That's how he feels towards you. And here in the mouse, we have that confirmed because you are the kind of person that pays close attention to what's going on, to all of the little mouse-like details. And that's where he kind of lacks. And that's actually not a bad thing. It just shows that he respects you. He sees you as someone who is going to look at all of these nitty gritty details, analyze them and actually take them seriously. And that also allows him to think, OK, if I overlook some nitty gritty details, I've got someone on my team who is actually very detail oriented. So in that way, you work really well together with this person, group number four. Next up, we have got the goose. So in the goose, take time to rest and recuperate rather than continuing your striving. He feels like it is time for you to have a vacation. It's time for you to chill. If you are overworked, group number four, and this person you are talking to might know of this, they actually, in a way, feel weirdly like sorry for you. Okay, it's not even weird. They just feel empathy, okay? I don't know why I'm saying it's weird. Maybe because I've literally been traumatized by people who don't know how to feel empathy and they're just like, don't get why you would be tired. Um, not that everyone is like that and I'm not gonna name any names for who these individuals are. But then when you meet someone who actually understands when you need to recuperate and when you just need like a break before you can continue striving you're like wow oh my god people with empathy and compassion really exist like is it really possible to have someone that can just genuinely see me for me and the hard work i've done and also kind of remind me to take breaks the unicorn shows here that you have a very creative, imaginative, and magical side. And the thing is, like, you are an artist and a creative at heart. And you are so worthy of somebody who understands that and sees differences that you may have with them as the biggest blessing because that means their life isn't mundane that means that they have so much more richness through you in the relationship so that is where i can see here within the unicorn that for you group number four you're seen as a very special individual by him he sees you quite literally as a unicorn which you obviously are you're part of the unicorn family that's why you're here on my channel and i want you to leave a unicorn emoji below in the comment section to let me and others know that you chose group number four you're here you're receiving your reading and that you totally understand where we're headed with this that you're one of a kind for him you're not a pick me you are the type of person who he sees as genuinely different and genuinely something he's never encountered the titan triggerfish shows here that you've got a very bold side to you and he would like you to make the first move now group four it is up to you whether you do that some of you might some of you will refuse to it depends what kind of dynamic you like what you believe in what you personally feel comfortable with some of you may absolutely not agree with making the first move and not want to make the first move 
because maybe you have more rigid gender roles, more conservative ones. Some of you might be very forward thinking and think to yourselves, well, why not just make the first move? Why not be the one showing my bold side a little bit? It really depends on whether you are comfortable with initiating the connection with them like this. If you know you won't be happy in the long term, if you were the one who initiated the first move, and let's just be open and honest here on my channel and talk about it. A lot of ladies still you will feel salty years down the line if you know that you initiated or you will kind of not be 100 percent happy that it had to go that way just don't do it you deserve the love story of your dreams that you picture that you imagine in your head so don't compromise it for a man or for any dude or any individual and just to point out please feel free to switch out the pronouns however it suits you most of you on my channel are predominantly straight females but i understand that there are also so many of you who don't conform to that and i just want you to feel seen feel like there's a space here for you and not feel as though you know it has to be with these specific pronouns so please apply this reading to your situation so next up we've got the giant oceanic manta ray this card shows us that life is a marathon don't burn yourself out in one sprint that's the message we've got here in the giant oceanic manta ray and i want you to understand here that what he really thinks about you is as someone who totally is in for delayed gratification you're not someone who just wants to do something quickly and in a very passive kind of way you are in it for the long haul and he does feel like your marriage material he does feel of you as someone who understands what a relationship about is about you understand what working together is all about i see here within the walrus calf that another thing that he just wants to do for you is to make your inner world feel safe like embracing all of your emotions will help you to create a state of flow and he understands that you will shine your brightest you will do your best work you will be, you will be the most radiant when you feel good about yourself when you feel like it is safe to express any of your feelings and your emotions to the person you're closest to and that would be him if you end up in a relationship so he's definitely the kind of person that understands the importance of emotional safety another thing that he feels about you is that you keep a lot of people's secrets okay you're the kind of person that a lot of people come to and that he worries you sometimes also need an outlet we already kind of spoke about that here in the goose needing a break and being with someone who sees that and who encourages you to do so can be such a healing such a beautiful experience think about it in the long term spending well, spending half a century like 50 years being with someone who tells you to go out go on walks connect with nature when you need it to also just take time to sleep to recuperate to regain your strength that is definitely one thing that i can see is super important here in connect with nature and your inner world being safe someone who is very understanding and very kind and gentle now he feels as though there is decluttering that he would still like you to do if you've got photos memories some sort of little trinkets from your ex even if you have like an expensive piece of jewelry a bag or an item of clothing that you got from a past lover he does not want to know he does not want to see you using that he may not tell you directly but he's thinking it he's feeling it and he doesn't like it and he wants you to declutter those things those are things that make him low-key a little insecure they low-key make him feel a little insignificant like a little mouse and in a way he asks himself how can you notice all of these other details but not notice how that may make him a little uncomfortable because he wants to provide these things for you. He doesn't want you using what someone else gave you. Now, my gorgeous souls of group number four, I'm just going to clear and cleanse the space and then I'll be right back with you. So just hold on tight and we'll move and we'll move into some deeper, more detailed messages about how he truly thinks of you right now. 
Welcome back, group number four. I'm excited to continue on with your reading so we can just uncover some more truths about how he truly feels about you right now. Because after all, there's a reason you're here at this particular moment in time. There's a reason you're receiving these particular cards. Everything happens for a reason. So let's get into it. Wisdom. Okay, he definitely sees you as an old soul. He sees you as somebody who has this kind of wisdom, this intuition to you that not a lot of people your age have and that you're just very ahead of the game, especially emotionally and mentally speaking. I do want you to know here with wisdom, as well as the master number 44, that in you, he sees someone who is super stable with whom you can have a long lasting relationship with. And this wisdom is something that also makes him wonder whether he brings enough to the table mentally because he can tell you're the kind of person of course who won't say no to someone who's physically attractive but at the same time you are not a sucker for looks you are definitely the kind of person who needs to be mentally stimulated as well next up here within awakening the thing with him is that he sees you as someone who has like this divine connection to a sacred lineage like he really honors your ancestors he really feels as though you are the modern representation or the modern kind of like spokesperson for everything that your ancestors went through and struggled through and that you out of your entire family are the one who is supposed to excel who is supposed to show that things can be done differently in this day and age like especially if you identify as a woman especially if you are especially if you're someone who belongs to a marginalized group of society just showing that that doesn't matter and you can still kick ass and be the most accomplished one in your lineage and your family yet not that it's a competition but it's just like wow you really did that and i want you to know here that one thing that he struggles with is forgiveness he struggles to forgive himself for some mistakes that he's made but he also definitely struggles with the fact that he has maybe not been the best person in past relationships and he thinks of you as someone who's probably going to call him out on it and someone who's probably a very fitting match to tell him to cut out the crap and the thing here is that he's not sure how he's going to react when you do so like he's not sure how he's going to react when he gets called out for the first time and this is just something on his mind okay he thinks of you as someone who is not going to tolerate too much because the thing is he sees you as an individual who shows up for themselves and the way you treat yourself is how you show others how to treat you and i definitely see here that for him he can see that you've treated yourself as of recently with more kindness more care more enthusiasm and his exes or past flames if you will so he definitely knows that there is no taking bs that is just doesn't make sense because the thing is like he sees you as someone worthy of success he feels like you are someone that believes that you are worthy of success so he's asking himself okay well what can i really bring to the table here okay there is definitely a form of feeling like he needs to get his act together that's what he thinks about you like you will not tolerate or be appreciative of low level vibration of bare minimum behavior so i definitely want you to know here that when it comes to him he's just overall, overall knows that like once there is commitment like it is committed it is locked down okay let's move further into your reading next up we've got the oarfish now the oarfish shows us here that your kindness is your strength your kindness is everything group number four never forget that and know that especially if you're dealing with a bully the best way is really to just kill them with kindness they will eventually 
give up, especially if you're an adult or you know, you're past middle school. In middle school, let's be real, I feel like you can be as kind as you want, you can do whatever, turn the other cheek, they're still gonna be horrible, they're still gonna bully you, but as an adult, it is really different. I think that people do move on to the next more quickly, especially because you know, you're not in that school structure where there's peer pressure and groups and you have to like, be with those people every single day. It can happen at work too, that there are like bullies or just really annoying individuals. But overall, I would say as an adult, you are the type of person who can learn to really deal with bullying and negative people, especially if you've already done it as a child. As an adult, it's almost like you become an expert on it. Like expert on the textbook narcissists and bullies and the thing here is that he definitely sees you as someone who is very graceful he sees you as someone who is not afraid to use their voice as the ambon damselfish communicates and that you don't feel as though your opinion doesn't matter and it's really it plays absolutely no role in your mind whether anyone has ever try to make you feel like your opinion doesn't matter or like your feelings don't matter you are not going to internalize that you are not going to let that take over your self-confidence or take over your heart take over how you feel about yourself and he can see that he can see that you're not afraid to speak up and that you've been there done that okay you are not the kind of person that another individual can just undermine and if you need to like we've got here in the spiny seahorse then we can play reverse roles you can live your own traditions values and norms you don't need a man you don't need someone by your side you can do what you need completely independently because that's who you are group number four you are an independent survivor just like in the survivor music video by destiny's child you know you're not going to give up you will keep going stronger like now that they're out of your life you're so much better they thought that you were weak but now you're stronger those are the vibes that we've got here and the thing is like if it's not benefiting you on to the next group number four and with that kind of energy you really do attract the right people who are not going to fumble you who are not going to treat you in a manner that they are just constantly making you think hmm maybe maybe it would be better to be with someone else after all they're like not even going to risk that honestly but it is also dependent on the vibes that you put out there and i'm really not trying to victim blame but i'm even going to take like accountability myself here sometimes you let things slide with people and then they think that's how they can treat you and really in a weird sense it's also your fault because you just should have removed yourself out of that situation and extracted them from your life honestly next up we've got epona so here with an epona we've got some earth magic energy he sees you as an earth fairy as somebody who is strong who can stand their ground someone who has like big sis and mom energy and just overall is not with the bs like he sees you as someone who may have a dainty and sweet exterior and may look like innocent and sometimes even behave a little childlike but he understands that you just do that when you feel safe when you also have like a divine masculine energy so you can be in your divine feminine so you can be in your soft girl energy if that space or no space is given to you that is safe enough for you to do that yeah then you will be a bad b then you will be strong then you will be the kind of person that everyone can immediately see is not to be messed with but what choice did you have you're not going to put yourself in a vulnerable position in front of people who don't appreciate it next up the high priest of atlantis shows that he sees you as someone who has a very healing kind of vibe and energy and core someone who is aligned he thinks that you probably do like yoga meditation and hang out with crystals and use tarot and oracle cards so just overall a very holistic spiritual like well-rounded individual who has the capacity for immense emotional intelligence and self-reflection so overall this is how he thinks of you how he feels about you group number four i hope that you found this insightful and that this reading resonated feel free to let me know below in the comment section 
Furthermore, if you would like to watch some exclusive videos and receive exclusive readings, feel free to check out my Patreon that is linked in the description box as well. I'm actually just doing a giveaway of a private reading on there. And if you just want like to get a private reading straight away without any waiting, or without having to participate in the giveaway because maybe something that you need to know is super pressing and urgent, feel free to check out my website, bowlife.com. I do from time to time offer personal readings on there. I have very few slots available right now. So feel free to check those out as well. Group number four for any of you who are interested. Now group four, thank you so much for spending this divine time and space with me. I'm sending you so much love and I can't wait to connect with you during one of my upcoming readings.